You're wasting your time, Roger. I'm telling you, when you turned on your music, you triggered my regen cycle on his programming. He's no more likely to hurt you now than I am. Why have you allowed me to remain in a state of activation? Your proxy declared you would dismantle me for the salvage of spare parts. Well, that was before. We get a little bit hyperbolic around here, but Gale's cooled down since then. I'm still gonna do it, Bogart. I'm gonna kill you and use you for spare parts. Really bugs you that he's such a jerk to me, doesn't it? Almost sweet. Spare parts! I have access to the base programming of every proxy model manufactured or scheduled for manufacture, including cancelled units in all known systems. It is not possible. Look, I don't know all the rules for public registration. I just know his antagonistic personality caused problems in early tests, and that was it. That would at least explain how a bucolic pilot of your inferior status and means <laughs> was able to afford a proxy. I was confused because all evidence from your obsolete ship with its low quality parts and assembly indicated that you were as poor in wealth as in reputation, <laughs> being unknown and undesirable in all uh, factors. Okay. Yes, you know a lot, Bogart. It's actually why we've decided to keep you awake. And why Gale adapted this diagnostic panel to be your new bed. He naively thinks that you'll be willing to help us fix the port thruster with your micro-welding prosthesis. Gale is not equipped with a nomatron, but all proxies since even the long obsolete EX-943 have had adequate hardware to repair such Shut up, Bogart! Well, are you gonna help us out? Yes, but if my remnant data is accurate. It caused an irreversible chemical change, burning a large quantity of silatide. Yes, Bogard. Your information is accurate. You have a very great quantity of accurate data. Thank you. Spare parts. No, not thank you, Bogart. You are the worst and we hate you. But, you are right. We do need some more. That's why we're here. That is why we are. Where? To get more silothide. Because you destroyed our silothide. Because you are a fl His demeanor is beyond perplexing, but I should have suspected something. The organic tissue connectors in your charge pod contained a neural input conduit. Mm hmm. I sleep upload, he sleeps download. Alright, suckers, I'm taking off. You all better be out there, or this place is our cemetery. How far off is the signal? Uh, a couple miles. You better take the space, space bike. I'm way ahead of you. Good luck. So your charge pod sinks for physical imprint to maintain proxy identity like any other model, and a motion synaptic firing patterns. As you can tell, it doesn't work that well, though. Can you imagine if he didn't get anchored once a day? But I do not have the processing hardware to accommodate such neural input. That is why my core system's overloaded. That is why I am no longer me. I'm gonna go sleep. Gail's been hogging the pod. So, you just let me know if he finds any ore. The comm gem's still busted, so your internal techie antenna's gonna be our radio. If he gets any further out in about a mile. Okay. Just let me know.
this piece of junk off the ground. Well, beggars can't be choosers. After all. Why will you people leave my ship alone? <coughs> Whoa, gravity's crazy here. Sorry, Bogart. Never meant for this to happen. on you, dummy. See you later, freak. Why didn't that hurt you? And how am I breathing? Okay, that's it. I surrender. I'm sorry, man. You win. My name's Pommard. I was marooned here by that guy's brother. Are you talking about Bogart's master? No. Not Kano. Kano's brother. Garth. Huge butthole. He's just the absolute... What are you doing? Gale! I can breathe! You know... My silified would be worth the pretty... Penny on any other planet. Are you sure you can fix it without Bogart? No trouble. Nothing useful on this rock but silithide, so become fairly adept. Okay. Well, um, next point. So, this Garth. We have a name now, thanks. Garth. He's apparently coming after us with intent to, um, Kill, or at least steal our cadminium, so I need to know everything you that still you- still have cadminium? Is that expedition ship still out there? Even he knew! Shut up! Huh? Ignore him. Yes, we do, and Garth knows, and he's also pretty angry because we cut this Kano guy's life short a bit. You do? Ooh. To Killed Kano? Yeah. With this thing? I did it. Single-handedly. Well... Guy, you punch like a mule. You got this crazed proxy. Your weird methane immunity. What kind of ship are you running? I pinned it for a cheap one-man vessel. A used, run-down, just bottom-rung okay. piece of... Okay. That was the whole plan. Lure the one man with my stash of silithide. Stun the pilot, whoever he was. Sorry, Gail. Make a clean getaway. And go get revenge or whatever. You trusted Garth, didn't you? I know what it's like. What are you doing? Don't bond! He tried to kill us! He busted the ship! He busted the space bike! Are you that desperate for friends? Are you lonely in space, Roger? Oh, he does have a point. It'd probably be stupid not to leave you here. Don't ask him to make a case. He fixes the ship and then you ditch him here. Hey, thief, I know you robbed my house and you shoot people off their bikes, but uh, I bet deep down you're a great guy. So uh, why don't you tell me why I should soften up my big dumb idiot heart? Come on, come on. Look, I can fix your ship. I'm a whiz with machines. Plus, 
Bogart's disabled. You disabled him! I was engineer on Garth's fire crab. Says you! Obviously you were so valuable, you couldn't afford to maroon you on Orphan 2 for nothing. And... I do know him very well. And he is both our enemies. I've got all kinds of information that you cannot do without. I'm a good guy. That's why I was marooned in the first place. I was trying to help an old man escape with that case. Garth found out and, well, got mad and marooned us. Yeah, and where is the old guy? Well, I know it sounds bad, but he disappeared one day. But not because of anything I did. I was trying to help him out. You piece of crap, that's what I thought. Why didn't you tell us the truth? Like what old man tastes like? I, I don't know, Gail. My enemy's enemy, right? And I kind of like him. What? Ah! Thanks, man. Look, I will not let you down. Everything's green. We're ready. Everything looking good, Palm? Flawless. How about you, Bogart? The charge is adequate. Of course it is. Now let's go! Garth's gaining on us every second! You know you were right, Palm. This was designed to be a one-man ship. Go! Hold on, Delian. We're on our way. Hey, Palm. What's up? What's in the old man's case, anyway? I don't know. Nobody knew. The guy was tight as a drum. He meant to send us somewhere, but he just vanished on the second day. Encrypted code of some kind. Okay. I'm taking it as fee for your passage. What? That's all I have! Hey, Gail. You still logged in? You want to try and crack it? Go ahead, plug it in. <laughs> so stupid. Did you just unlock it? It's as easy as decoding a pin number if you're using gel mix. Makes me a lot less nervous about this Garth guy if he couldn't even figure that out. Gail, you're always talking about switching programming languages. Just how rare is gel mix? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You're a computer. Right. Hey, Bogart. I'm feeding you some code. What do you know about this? I have no information whatsoever on those character patterns. What are they? I guess it's pretty rare, Roger. Well, what's in the case? 